at first we were considering a course, you know, and then realised that, that there's a lot of courses out there and we don't need to add another course to the roster of courses that are available to people. What we're wanting to do is, is to supplement other education and to allow uh, people to come to us for a kind of a library of knowledge. So we're not running a course where we have, you know, the first day is this, the second day is that, the second day, third day is the next thing. We're actually going to produce... Um, videos that are cover a huge range of subjects that are in, of interest to anybody in the audio world, whether you be studio or live or a hobbyist or even a musician, maybe a function band that uh, mixes yourself or a jobbing engineer who's just, you know, needs, needs a few more bits of inspiration or you're a current student. We want to support everybody um, and inspire everybody in, to take the next step in their careers and to actually see what's available and what they should be trying to achieve. Give them something to aspire to. The people we have uh, on board for this project is, uh, first of all, my dear, 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 lovely friend Justin Greeley, who is just one of the greatest characters ever in rock and roll. He has been there, he has done that. If you can name a band, he has worked with them. And if you spend any amount of time with him whatsoever, you will walk away having learnt something new about the world and probably about audio. Um, he's a natural-born teacher. He has great gifts. He knows just about everything. Um, and he's a great character and lots and lots of stories to tell. And a great engineer. Just, uh, just an absolutely fantastic, rock-solid, reliable engineer. We've also got Marcel van Limbeek on board, who is, has been Tori Amos' engineer for the last 17, 18 years, both studio mix and uh, recording engineer, um, and her monitor engineer when touring. Marcel is a very, very gifted teacher. Um, anybody who has been on a course where he has taught will, will uh, attest to that. He's got a wonderful way of getting a point across, and he's also just one of the great characters um, who is just obsessed with audio and just loves it, um, which will come across in, in anything that he ever does. Um, the third of our main tutors is John Burton. John Burton is, a, yet again, a completely different character to the other two. Um, he's also been touring for many, many years. He also has a studio. And currently he's with uh, Prodigy and Bombay Bicycle Club, um, amongst others. John is just rock solid. He's wonderful to be around. He's so calm so collected and so completely um, understands what just gets everybody through a day. Uh, he's got wonderful hints and tips and uh, is, is, is prepared to share them and that's the beauty of both, all three of these guys is they have the knowledge and they want to share it. We're real, real characters who have been there and done that and want to share that information and want to tell their stories. And having access to that kind of thing is just so much more inspirational than just being told this is where you click on the menu for some function in Pro Tools. We're not just about how to do things, we're also about how to be, how to exist, how to make your way. And these guys have been there and they have done that and seriously have the pile of black rock and roll t-shirts to prove it. So they know what the world is like and you know, we're willing to answer all those questions. If, even if it's a question of how does a tour bus, life on a tour bus work, we'll answer that. You know, it's quite hard to know those, get that information. You know, how, where, where do you find that out without, before you've ever done it? So we really want to be able to prepare people for that world as well. So if you're about to do your first tour ever, you know, hopefully we can give you just a little bit of a background so you're not completely wet behind the ears when you, when you, when you go out there and, and get on your first tour. In terms of trying to make people more employable, people need someone to look up to and to ask, is this the right thing to do? Am I behaving in the correct way? You know, what do I need to do in this situation? Um, I noticed while I was teaching that the mentor factor was actually as more important as the instruction factor. So even while we're teaching people to do X, Y and Z, inspiring people to want to do X, Y, and Z and inspiring them to do it properly, not take shortcuts, do it the difficult way because that's the correct way. Um, that's what's going to build people careers. So we're all about not just showing you how to do something, we're all about showing you why you want to do it 
and how you can build careers and why behaving in certain ways is actually the key to building those careers, particularly when it comes to just interpersonal relationships with the people that you're going to work with day in, day out, um, and how to get liked, how to get people to call you back. Um, and most importantly, one of the things that I will always hammer home is how, why it's so important that you are just not lazy. Laziness is not an option in this industry. And if your CV and your covering letters come across as lazy, you will come across as lazy and you won't get work. It's as simple as that. Always look like you've made an effort. That's one of the most important things I can say to anyone ever. Um, if you look like you've made an effort, the person receiving your application might actually make an effort in return.